ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Have you ever thought about finding out what lies beyond? Are you interested in discovering the remains of an interstellar society that fell to its own technological hubris? Do you? Well, then Star Sector might just be the game for you. And today I will show you how to become a true of the sector. And who better to use as an example than our good friend James May. Experienced smuggler, contract killer, but most importantly, <laughs> I think it must be that. Functional member of society. You will learn from the best and gather <laughs> about deceiving your local government, tax evasion, and of course, how to deal with. <laughs> so suit up and join me for a journey of great adventures and making that bread. We start living the life of what many would consider the average American. Broke, desperate and violent beyond reason. Kicks her, punches her, throws lit candles with hot wax on her. Our very generous and absolutely trustworthy employer, Tritachium Corporation, rewards us with a monthly stipend of 25,000 space bitcoin for fulfilling our basic needs like food, supplies, crew, and of course, industrial, industrial quantities, quantities of heroin. 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 We also get some dollar for eliminating enemy fleets. So basically any other faction. You can clearly see how Tritachian Corporation is loved by everyone for their very reasonable use of illegal AI technology, corporate fraud and blackmailing the authorities. Diplomacy. As the experienced Starfarer would have noticed by now, this is not the vanilla game. It is enhanced through the use of several pristine quality mods that allow for various occurrences, including, but not limited to, interstellar war, blackmailing the government, overthrowing the government, finding fascinating and sometimes interesting planets, exterminating the local wildlife, getting sucked in by black holes, and... Now, back to the video. James May, having only 20,000 credits to his name and being an entrepreneur businessman, of course, wants to use the assets at his disposal to grow this wealth. And what better way to get rich than through good old honest smuggling? And there are three steps to his master plan. Step one. Find a suitable planet to exploit for your own personal gain, completely disregarding the well-being of the population. <coughs> Step 2. Pick the right goods. By this I mean not the ones with the biggest multiplier on investment, but those with the largest profit margin. Step 3. Load up as much volume as humanly possible and start the haul. Oh, and don't get caught by the patrols. seconds later.
After this minor incident, James May managed to acquire sufficient funds to continue his trade enterprise. So we buy two new ships, name them Legal Cargo and... And now, back to lifting. Now a very wealthy man, James May did what most capitalists do when their account is loaded. He blew it all gambling on the stock market. No, instead he went the way of the investor and used his capital gains to fund an expansion for his fleet. But what ships did he buy? Well. Most of them are low-tech garbage, with several demons held together only by their crews working reasonable hours at a competitive salary of 10 credits per month, which is enough to fulfill their basic needs. However, they have one redeeming quality. Big cargo space for big drug holes. And we can also fit extensive weapon systems. Of course, only as defensive measures. Trust me, James May would never hurt anyone. He's a good guy after all. This made James very unpleased. You bastards! I hate you! Both of you! However, we also managed to get a deal on these reasonably priced high-tech marbles of aeronautical engineering, developed by our trustworthy partners over at Tritachion Corporation they not only support high-velocity travel and integrated teleportation fields, no, they also allow for the fitting of a very large boy. With the mostly junk fleet assembled and safety protocols overridden, it's time to conduct one last and very profitable delivery. We shall smuggle legally acquired organs into the territory of the enemy, the hegemony. Who is? The hegemony, you might ask. Well, let me give you a quick rundown of their faction. Ruled by the high hegemon dot, they basically outlaw the use of anything fun. Drugs? Banned. Combat mechs? Banned. Also banned. But they surely must at least allow for the use of life-saving organ donations, you might think. No, also banned. What did you think, moron? I already said they're no fun. Is your bloody attention span really that short? Come here, you little... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, where was I? Right, smuggling organs into hegemony territory. Entering the Corvus star system, James May is immediately welcomed by what seems to be the hegemony's entire fucking navy. I mean, are you serious? Of course, as an experienced delivery agent, this did not stop him from delivering his cargo. By executing a series of well-timed maneuvers and applying high-level diversion tactics, we managed to get him safely to the destination, Jangola Station. So. We drop off the organs at an unguarded space dock and receive the notification of successful delivery shortly after. This was a truly magnificent haul, reflected by the amount of Wait. obtained. With almost 200,000 credits to his name and a fleet to back him up, James May set out for even greater adventures. But there is no time for that today. You'll have to watch the next episode to find out, bucko. Watch now.